In recent times, there have been a number of criminal activities in the Ashanti region which have, in some cases, led to the loss of lives. This has been a major concern for persons living in the region as they have called on authorities to do whatever it takes to improve the security situation. Areas in the region that have recorded violent crimes in recent times include Atonsu, Ahenma Kokobeng, Inshiaeso, Buokrom, among others. This appears to be widespread in the region. Some residents have attributed some of the attacks to poor police visibility, as well as inadequate street lights, particularly for those that occur at night. Areas such as Amokum, Susanso, Asokwa, Ahonjo, Inshiaeso, Dakojum, and Loga Junction to Sawaba Junction through to the airport runabout stretch have non-functional street lights. Despite numerous appeals for the lights to be fixed, many street lights are still not functioning. As the festive season approaches, some assembly members in the Kumasi metropolis have called for improved security as they believe criminal activities will likely be on the rise around the period. Okay, security is a, it's a major problem in my area at the moment. Um, currently, due to the little bit of politics that came about, uh, I've got dark spots in my area. I got many of my street lights and bed out. So there are many dark spots in the area. So it's, it's a major challenge now. This is, this is the time, it's a bumper harvest of criminals. You know, during Christmas, this is the time they try to engage in their things to be able to sustain their activities. There are so many darkness around the community, all the corners, and so many head out, which uh, bad people often hide in the, which we are trying to find means to solve that problem so that the community or the electorate will feel much at home. These are some of the challenges that I'm talking about. In the hideout, the darkness, and the other areas you see, uh, it breeds it breed criminals. In a bid to address their concerns, the MCE for KMA, Samuel Pine, has handed over 3,000 boxes of street lights to assembly members in the metropolis. According to him, this will help improve security in the area. We have darkness around, especially some of the street lights are more functioning, and therefore the assembly took it upon ourselves to make sure that we light in other areas. We have 40 electoral areas, and therefore we've done a distribution of 50 per electoral area to the assembly members. Our electric staff are going to help them. To see them. The rest, uh, we're going to use them at areas that we have darkness that we have for under um, the electoral area. The presiding member for KMA, Stephen Ofori, who received the items on behalf of the assembly member says getting the streets lights to function will augment efforts of the police in improving security in the city. In our last me metro um, meeting that we had, uh, the topic was how we can lighten up the whole system for uh, every uh, mass uh, individual to be walking around and see danger coming. Because uh, your first point of security is your own assessment. So it's always uh, prudent to make sure you have a better lighting system so as for individuals and every citizen going around can, can uh, assess the camera for him or her to take a uh, cover. So uh, this uh, light that we are seeing this morning is uh, coming in to augment that effort by uh, placing all the lights in all the dark uh, places so that in the night, it will help to ease the, that um, crime that we normally experience. Even the police going around to patrol, we need that for them to spot criminals to get, uh, get them apprehended.